First Alert Weather is brought to you by the Medical Center. Well, today we are beginning to see temperatures and a cold Arctic rush that is more like January than the middle of November. And it looks like it's going to be here to stay for a few days. So if you have not made any kind of preparations for it, well, you may be just a little bit too late because it's here. Here's a look at First Alert live Doppler radar, seeing the transition over to some light snow. This is not a big deal. It looks pretty as it comes down, but the ground temperature is still way too warm for any of this to really stick, except for maybe the grassy areas, a rooftop, top of a barn, a car, a house. It's, that's about it. Roadways are just fine. They're just wet this morning as temperatures are just now getting to the freezing point, but we have a lot of wind with this too that is going to blow that snow off the roadways and really not cause that much of an issue. The nearest uh, heaviest snows that we're looking at right, or if you can even call it heavy snow, or the more concentration of snow from Hardensburg to E-Town to Hodgenville down to Munfordville, and then even over toward Campbellsville, and then Lebanon, and then southward now into Bowling Green and Glasgow, beginning to see that transition over to some light snow. Here's a look at Mesonet sites, and uh, we've seen it once you break down. It's mostly water, mostly rain that has fallen, but if you melt all of that down, the equivalent goes down to just less than a tenth of an inch and only two to three tenths of an inch of uh, precipitation. Highest amount over toward Columbia, 11 hundredths, and that's mostly rain that they have received there in Adair County this morning. The bigger deal, bigger than the snow that's coming down right now, the temperatures and the wind. Right now, temperatures have fallen into the 30s and right at the freezing mark. Then you throw in the winds out of the north, a stiff wind at 15 to 20, close to 25 miles per hour, in some cases even 30 mile per hour wind gusts. Well, that produces a wind chill factor. That's how the temperature feels against your skin. So as you step outside, you're off to work, you're waiting for the school bus, you need to dress in layers. Not one big coat, but several layers so that you can shed them later. But this is the way it feels. It feels like it's in the low to mid 20s with the wind chill factor. And later today, maybe even in the teens is the way it's going to feel. And as far as recovery, not much today. We may see some sun breaking out after we get through some of this winter mix this morning. But high temperatures have really already been realized today around the Green River Lake area. Campbellsville, 42, 41, Greensburg, 43, Columbia. That's as high as you're going to get today. Powerball jackpot, by the way, tomorrow night estimated to be at $110 million, while Mega Millions estimated to be at $132 million at the next drawing. And we're seeing the light snow falling here at the station. This is our live Doppler cam. You can see it kind of falling there. It's just small flakes here, but uh, still enough to cause a pretty picture this morning. And if you have a chance to, and when it's safe to do so, maybe snap a picture, send it up to Capture Kentucky at WBKL.com or hit us on our Facebook or Twitter pages. 33 right now, but it feels like 25 with that stiff north wind at 11 miles per hour. And they're getting a mix of snow and light rain in Munfordville, 31, your temperature there. Russellville, it's just about over for you. The precipitation moving east of you, 33, the current temperature. And in Greenville, uh, your sky's actually beginning to clear back west of you with a temperature of 34. 33 at the airport, look at that, 20 Peoria, 13 right now in Des Moines, Iowa, as the really cold air begins to make its way known into the area. We're still three degrees warmer than yesterday at this hour, but we're about to take a big tumble. Look at that uh, tumble in temperatures back to the west, 20, 30, even 35 degrees colder than yesterday. This is a fast-moving system, and as we said yesterday, not a lot going on here. This is not the big deal that we need to pay attention to. The bigger deal with this system is the unseasonably cold air that should not be here until about January is here right now. So we're getting this end to the mix of precipitation. Then the Arctic blast takes over. We'll see some clearing this afternoon, a stiff north wind, and at times 10 to 20, maybe even up to 30 miles per hour is going to make for maybe some Wind chill digits in the teens later today. High pressure settles in tonight. The wind settled down, but a clear, cold, very frosty evening. And the next few days look really good around here with a gradual warm up. The winter mix, if you're still getting it this morning, any snow showers, rain showers, all that coming to an end. Breezy and cold today. We've already hit our high of 44. Then for tonight, clear, cold, 
frosty 22. Some locations may be the upper teens. Only up to 42 tomorrow with sunshine. And then the warm-up begins. 53 Thursday, 56 Friday. But with that, unsettled weather. Rain, all rain as highs return to the 60s for the upcoming weekend.